What's going on, fellow fans of Clash of Clans? It is your host, Galadon, fighting a pretty bad cold right now, but we're going to push through it and talk about, well, in today's episode, it could really be called two different things. Either the Champion 2 Clan defeats the Champion 1 Clan, asterisk, or how not to create an anti-bat spell base. So we'll talk about both subjects in today's video, and I will try not to cough, sneeze, or hack too much into the microphone. So yes, as you may or may not know, my name is still hashtag save El Primo, at least until El Primo becomes a permanent troop in Clash of Clans, or, or is removed. We'll see about that, and actually it's happening today, I think. Anyway, okay, so here it is. We are talking about this war against 007 Dynasty. This is a clan that is already in Champions 1. This is a classic clan war, as they call it. So, yes, they are a higher ranked clan than us as far as CWL goes. But again, remember that CWL is a completely different beast than classic clan wars. Obviously, we've got two attacks each and we're running 30 v 30 instead of the typical 15 v 15 CWL. So we'll get down to the whole asterisk thing in a moment. But fact of the matter is Lost Phoenix wins. They pick up the victory, and yes, yours truly, Galadon, picks up a relatively easy three-star against a pretty strong 12. Now, obviously not maxed out, but again, a strong one with a lot of maxed out defenses, but, and we're going to talk about this today, definite weakness to the bat spell. We will go back and take a look at this base, and then the next two three-stars, which were against lost phoenix members who will take note and change their bases accordingly the bat spell obviously is defensible anybody who tells you that bat spells will wreck any base is wrong it is just a matter of the meta catching up and base designers altering things to make it harder so let's go and take a look at this base here it is before it was attacked and you'll notice we're looking for single target infernos and lack of splash damage so if you look towards the top right of this base here, that is right. You do not protect this entire area with just a single target Inferno and a wizard tower easily frozen, easily taken out early. That is exactly how I got that three star. So let's go ahead and move on and watch. Here it is. Number one, Ares from Lost Phoenix. And yes, a non anti bat spell base looks tough right completely maxed out you cannot max all your walls there is a limit to 200 of those level 13 walls but nonetheless a beautiful base aries ranked number one because everything is maxed out in his base but taking a closer look at this quadrant yes sure enough this entire area is protected only by an inferno tower set to multi and this wizard tower they are within one freeze spells radius and that means that's right, extremely vulnerable to a bat spell attack. Nothing else in the area is going to slow it down. So watch that area of the map as we get this attack underway from hashtag Trapper of 007 Dynasty. So again, he's going to start out with some funneling dragons up here on the top right, the heroes at the very top of the screen activating that clan castle. But that left hand side, that is going to be vulnerable. Now what I loved about this attack is the fact that he's waiting. He's not dropping the bat spells first, which is not something you need to do. Let's go ahead and distract other possible defenses in the area, specifically some of the Expos and that multi-targeting Inferno, just in case. Now, as everybody moves in around that Town Hall, easily getting the Town Hall out of the way, get ready on that left-hand side. There it is. The freeze, all those bat spells, and now nothing to stop these bats from clearing out about a fifth of this base and way more in defenses. Look at those archer towers going down, air defenses, Teslas, you name it. This entire area absolutely annihilated. And yes, I really like the fact that he used it so late. You can see that even the bat spells were able to take down a wizard tower just because there were so many of them there. And now, no chance. Ares definitely changing his base after this attack. And sometimes, I gotta tell you, it's just a matter of moving one defense. Obviously, having all of your Infernos set to single is usually a bad idea. But then again, also having a multi-targeting Inferno next to the only other splash damage, meaning the Wizard Tower in that one area is going to easily let an attacker drop one freeze, one rage, a bunch of bat spells, and wipe out key defenses 
throughout a large portion of your base. So hashtag Trapper did a great job distracting and then batting. Distract a bat? We need to think of, there's, I don't know, it's not Bat Dragon, there's more to it. All right, here we go, North Coast. He's gonna change his base because as we take a closer look at this base, also extremely vulnerable to the bat spell. Now, of course, all single target infernos, yes, most of them are far from other defenses, but check out this area right here, this entire quadrant of the base. Nothing except for one wizard tower. Once that single wizard tower is gone, then yes, the rest of this base is going to get wiped out, at least everything in this entire area. And that is exactly what is going to happen in this attack because it's great, yes, to separate your Inferno Towers from your Wizard Towers so that they can't be frozen by one freeze spell, but check out Ragnar MCC. One baby dragon is gonna take down that Wizard Tower by itself, and now, easily, the bat spells with a rage are gonna come in and just wipe out every key defense in the area. The single target Inferno goes down. The Archer Queen is out of the way because he dropped a skeleton spell. That was absolute brilliance. I love that right there. Not just bat spells, but skeleton as well. So your Archer Queen goes down and he gets a bunch of air defenses, expos. He actually misses the Eagle Artillery, but check it out. Here comes your Stone Slammer into clutch save the day. So I gotta say, this is a reason that 007 Dynasty is at Champion 1. These guys know what they are doing. They've got plan Bs. They've got backup plans for when things don't go exactly right. And now, well, you don't need any more spells at this point when you've taken out so many key defenses. In come the dragons, some loons, the stone slammer, and the heroes on the right-hand side right there. And it's just a matter of time. It seems like it could be a tough call without spells. And yes, it's strange to be left without any spells to use in an attack like this, but once you've taken out so many defenses early on, especially the Eagle and those Expos, the Inferno Tower up there, half of the air defenses, there's just really not a lot left to stop this attack. Ragnar also left a couple of balloons behind just to pick off some outer defenses and to make sure that he gets through that single target Inferno that's going to be last. Things go kind of slowly here. Remember, dragons of all kinds are pretty slow troops, and they're gonna take a while to get through a base. But again, not a lot to slow them down. Great use of the Warden's ability right here. That makes sure the, uh, actually the Barbarian King survives a little bit longer, gets that single target Inferno. Check it out. He actually made it past the range. And then of course the dragons take down the Town Hall. At this point, yes, it seems like there's not a lot of units left, but look closely. There's also not a lot of defenses left. Finally, the Tornado Trap goes off. A couple of uh, Seeking Air Mines get all but one of the last balloons, and it's going to be up to these dragons, and, yes, that's right, a full health Archer Queen who knows what she's doing. She's going to avoid walls because, well, because she's the Archer Queen. She doesn't like walls. Who would ever say anything like that? So she's going to get through, get the rest of these buildings down. The dragons are actually going to go after the Barbarian King at the top of the base, and there you go. So, again... Maybe not textbook. I really like the fact that Ragnar brought the skeleton spells as well. So nine bat spells, a pair of skelly spells, and this base absolutely wiped out. So here is the final result of the war. Lost Phoenix wins 67-65. We had seven three-star attacks versus their five three-star attacks. But remember, CWL is only the top 15 bases. Well, if we had just gone with the top 15 bases, then technically, Lost Phoenix loses by one star. They three-starred two of our top 15 bases. We only three-starred one of their top 15 bases. But then again, you have to go deeper than that. There's the whole fails and was that the first attack? Was there a scout? Was there a cleanup? That sort of thing. So I'm not going to say, you know, we would have beaten them in CWL or they would have beaten us. You can't really compare classic clan wars to CWL. But I would be remiss if I didn't show Drunk No Scopes only three star against their top 15 bases right here. And I gotta say, it was more of a standard boulder attack. That's right, no bat spells. Gotta love it when somebody says, I don't need bat spells to win. I can do this the old fashioned way and I can earn it. Okay, no, I'm not saying that bat spells aren't earning it. You're definitely, 
it's it's an old reference. You're probably not old enough to know that one, but I don't even remember what the name of the company was. We make money the old-fashioned way. We earn it. I don't... What? I, anyway. If you remember, tell me in the comments. Otherwise, check out Drunk No Scope picking up the three star right here. And again, it is tough to compare apples to oranges. And I think that Classic Clan Wars versus CWL is completely different. Now, right now, I do see a lot of anti-bat spell bases being built. And it's something that I'm going to talk about later on in the week and next week. We're going to get some pros on here from some top clans and talk about how bases are built, what the meta is right now, and where they think things are headed in the coming months as we get ready for this $1 million Clash of Clans World Championship. That is a lot of money at stake, and so yes, the bases are going to need to be new and different, and I do feel like we're in for some surprises. You saw that last season in Season 3 of CWL, new attacks we had never seen before, new bases that maybe were unexpected. I definitely anticipate to see more of that, and I am so excited for where Clash of Clans is going right now. I feel like Town Hall 12 is a great spot as far as balance. It's extremely challenging for really good attackers and defenders, and it's going to be an exciting time in Clash, just like in yesterday's video. I think that 2019 is going to be a great year for Clash of Clans. Now that being said, a lot of you are already asking, is Lost Phoenix going to compete in the CWL World Championship? Well, you know, it's not really up to a clan whether or not they compete. First things first, they have to get to Champion 1. Now this next season is just about to start in a few more days, less than a week. And Lost Phoenix is in Champion 2, hoping to get to Champion 1. We'll see. I will follow the clan. We will talk about it during the week. I'll show some videos, some replays, some attacks, some bases, and that sort of thing. And we'll see if we can make it. Obviously, a lot of Lost Phoenix players have really taken this seriously. I've seen them up their game. More solid anti-three-star bases, good attacks, and I'm hopeful. I really am. I'm hopeful that Lost Phoenix can make it to Champion 1 and try to compete with some of these amazing clans that are already there. And attacks like this 3-star from Drunk No Scope will help us get to Champion 1 and who knows what lies ahead beyond that. I hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you stay subscribed. Obviously, huge updates coming in 2019. Big news. So, look for Galadon Gaming. For your earliest possible update and sneak peek information. Until then, have a great day. Get out there, be kind to other people, kind of animals. And hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. You don't sound that sick. I think you're just trying to get out of work. Peter, hmm? Peter, you realize I just did my work, right? That this video.